Well, it's that time of year again. Well, it's the start of autumn. It's the end of summer. And at the end of summer, we often get these huge moths. Uh, they're like the size of small birds. And uh, this is the Convolvulus hawk moth. Now they can raise caterpillars. The caterpillars can live in Ireland. But uh, I don't know don't know if they do regularly but they do, it does happen uh, and the only moss that will be bigger would and it's not much bigger if at all would be the death's head hawk moss or the death's head moss but this one we get regularly now and it's uh, at the size of a small bird here it is in my hand this is a female you can see her here next to my thumb she's quite big huge eye and now I'm going to She's exhausted after getting trapped in the tunnel, polytunnel. You can see her wings are a little bit damaged. I'm going to lift her out now. Now, there you go. Oh, so that's her on my hand. You can see she's quite big. I was just a little worried that maybe she was bitten by a spider. She seems to be suffering a bit. Or she's slow. Now, there we go. Now, so she's a big moth. She has some spider webs on her wings, things like that. I just want to get that off. Yeah, she's trying to get the web off her wings. Whoa. escape there because the camera got knocked into the dog's water bowl. There goes the moss. You can see it's pretty big. Trying to warm its wings up. Beautiful creature with the size of those eyes, bigger than a bird's eye. And uh, the reason I have this caught here is because I have to knock up my camera. Actually fell head first into the dog's bowl of water which happened to be at my feet. There you can see the beautiful colours. You can see how big it is to my hand, but it's a very big mouse. There are of course in different parts of the world much more gigantic ones. And hopefully now she'll be able to fly. She's warming up. Actually she might need some sugar. Sugar water, that's why I'll get her. Because uh, some moths of this size don't have mouth parts. The Privet Hawk Moth, which is almost identical, has no mouth parts. But the Convolvulus Hawk Moth is a feeder. So I'll see if I can get some sugar water. So I'm giving it a little bit of sugar. Not a lot. But um, hopefully now that'll be enough to give it a bit of energy to take off. Beautiful moth. You can see it has white stripes under the black and that's uh, on, the, on the abdomen and you can see that the, those are uh, this is the female, the male has feathered antennae she'd be a bit bigger than the male she's warming up now a lot so hopefully she'll be able to get going she'll probably just take off, see the way There we go, she's about to take off. Oh, not quite what I had in mind. And there she goes. Off somewhere. Oh, here she is. That's her flying. Now look at that. Not incredible. Whoa. She landed back in my hand. 